Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries and in this segment, which is part six of the Smart Home series of videos, let's talk data networking. And here we're going to talk about how you go about actually wiring up a bunch of computers inside of the building or in your home and tying them together here inside the panel. Now we need to home run wiring from this panel out to every outlet that you might want to provide uh, data networking to a computer and obviously plug a computer in out there. And then how do you tie it together back here in a panel? Well, we have a couple different options for that as well. So let's take a look at those and we'll show you how you go about doing it. In order to tie a bunch of computers together inside uh, our uh, panel here, we need to install this particular bracket if we're doing Cat5e installations here with Category 5e cable because the board is Cat5e rated. And what you've got here is a board that can support phone or data, depending on what you want to offer it. Now, when I look real closely at this board, there are three connectors down this side. You see the blue, orange, green, brown, and you see another blue, orange, green, brown right there, then a third one. And um, uh, right here on the board is a number, and it's etched, and it's one. This means that this connection is wired to that first connector in the top here. So this and this are the same. And then we have a two on this one. That means this one here is wired to the second one. Uh, this makes this one the third one, the fourth one over here, the fifth one here, and the sixth one here. So the odds are on this side, the evens are on this side. So that little board handles uh, six Cat5b cables running out to outlets and rooms that can be used again for phone or data applications. Now if I need to uh, connect uh, those uh, category wires uh, together and make all these computers talk to each other, I need to install another device called, a, and it can take the form of a lot of things, but there are switches, there are bridges, there are routers, browsers, hubs, there's a lot of different devices we can uh, actually use to make all those computers talk together. So in order to do that, we would very simply take some patch cords here and uh, plug it into the connections on the panel that are wired into some computer out there that we want to tie together and we very simply tie it into the and plug it into the top of our little router or switch here uh, that requires by the way AC power okay and it would make all the devices talk together so we can very simply plug all the computers together using these little jumper cords plugging them into this little router or switch now uh, You'll notice that the, the on this particular, this is a, a, a gateway or router actually is what it is. And one of the ports on the top of this is, it just says WAN or Wide Area Network. Now, if I had a high-speed internet line I wanted to plug into this system, I would that would be coming from a, 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 a modem or some other high-speed internet line coming again from some sort of service provider. And then I would take that wire coming from the service provider and I would plug it into my, uh, in this case, router. And that would then get plugged into their high-speed internet line. And and then we could join that and then share high speed internet with all these different computers inside the homes. Now, if we're, our solution is a CAT6 solution, not a CAT5e solution, um, in other words, you've got CAT6 cable pulled, not 5e, this is how we actually do the CAT6 solutions. And these are CAT6 jacks that are put on the end of a piece of category 6 wire. This is this green wire coming out of here is CAT6. And uh, if we need to then need data at an outlet for a computer using the CAT6, we would then grab a CAT6 patch cord, uh, plug it into that uh, CAT6 jack, and then, then again plug it right into our router or switch, which then will jump data to that particular outlet in that room. And again, we could do that with all of these that are feeding different computers inside the house. Okay, And that's how we go about tying together the uh, data networks within the home, either using a CAT5e solution here or using the CAT6 solution. Now another option for data would be not to mount uh, these devices or put a panel in. We could simply, if we wanted to, we could mount a patch block someplace uh, anywhere in the house and uh, this can be mounted on a wall or uh, really about anywhere in the house. And, we, and when we take this apart, these two parts come apart here, and uh, this bracket again can be mounted on a wall and then we could uh, take Cat5 cable from here and punch it down in the back, that's like we do all the other connections, and then um, again mount that on a wall and then uh, have a router or switch like this sitting nearby that we could then uh, jump from here into our router or switch if we are trying to put data to a particular uh, outlet inside of a room. So if we wanted a, another option uh, where we don't want to necessarily uh, mount a, a particular panel out there and we happen to have a router and then we had uh, this device, we could really tie a bunch of computers together as well. And again, each one would then get plugged into my router. So that's another option for doing data networking. Well, folks, I hope that explains something more about the distribution panel for you. And, uh, you know, thanks for coming. I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. We'll plan on seeing you the next time.